unless you just really enjoy standing on the side of the road instead of riding your bike, I recommend that you fix the popped tube at home so you can get back to riding. But it's a really good idea to keep a patch kit handy just in the very unlikely case that you do get more than one flat out on a single ride. And here's how to use this nifty patch kit to make your popped tube almost good as new. First thing you have to do to patch the hole in the tube is to find the hole. And you do that by pumping up the tire and just by feeling around for where air is coming out of. Luckily, the hole in my tire is pretty big because I stabbed it, but sometimes the hole isn't going to be so obvious. Sometimes it's going to be a very slow leak and you won't be able to see it easily like this big old thing. <laughs> in the event that the hole is so small that you can't find it just by looking at it or just by feeling with your hand after you pump it up, it's gonna sound weird, but your lips are extremely sensitive. So if you just go around the tube and keep feeling until you feel air blowing onto your lips, you will find it eventually. But if you're at home and you want the most surefire way of finding all the punctures possible before you patch them, so you don't have to redo all of that work, the best way is to pump up the tube a bit and then submerge it in water and see the bubbles blowing out of the punctures. The patch kit will come with three items, some sandpaper, rubber cement, and patches. To give the patch a nice grippy surface to stick onto, first take the sandpaper and just make it a bit more gritty and texturized around the hole. Be sure to cover as big of an area as the patch is going to sit on. It's helpful to stick the patch on before you even apply it to see how big it is and how much you need to sand down. And again, using this orange part of the patch as a guide, place it on top of the hole to see how much area it's going to cover. So that way you know how much rubber cement to apply on. You wanna make sure that everything under the orange and under the black here, that's the patch itself, has rubber cement so that it can bond to the tube. And that looks like to be enough rubber cement to cover the patch. Now we just wait five minutes for this rubber cement to set in. Then peel the patch off of this silver backing and just stick it on to the puncture. Press on the patch and make sure it has a nice contact to the tube. Make sure that it completely covers the puncture and then just peel away this plastic part as cleanly as you can. And there you have it, a nice patched up tube. If you want to be as sure as possible that you patch it up correctly, put some air in it, submerge it in water and see if there's any bubbles coming out. If none do, you have successfully patched a tube and it is good to go. And functionally speaking, just about as good as new. And the circle of the bike tube life continues. And shout out to Wabi Cycles for sponsoring 3 Minute Thursday for a great source of cycling information and a great source for intelligently spec fixed gear bikes. Check out Wabi Cycles linked at the top of the description. And if you have any ideas that would be a good fit for 3 Minute Thursday, let us know in the comments below and we just might make that video.